Historically, video teams have used a patchwork of tools to deliver dailies, upload files, share ideas, and collaborate in order to present assets to your clients and get approvals. Framile brings it all together by securely centralizing assets, conversations, and decisions about your project, making everything available from anywhere. If you have an existing Adobe Creative Cloud Premiere Pro subscription, your included Framile plan gives you up to two users, five projects, 100 gigs of storage, and the account will be enabled for Camera to Cloud. If you wish to add more to your Frame.io account, you or your admin can always upgrade to a pro or team plan through Frame.io. You can use Frame.io from within Premiere Pro or from within the Frame.io web app. Let's start inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. To open the Frame.io panel, head to Workspaces under the window menu and choose Review. Within this Frame.io tab, this is where you'll be able to access your Frame.io account. Here, I have a finished sequence that I want to upload so I can get feedback. Under the Upload button, I have a few options to upload my sequence. I can upload the active sequence, but I can also upload files from any bin in my Premiere Pro project. I can even upload this project file for use at a different workstation for a remote editor. Under Upload Active Sequence, I can change the file name, choose the upload format, whether I want to upload the entire sequence, a section, or use specific in and out points from my timeline. Lastly, I can choose whether or not I want to save a local copy of this. After clicking Upload, Adobe Media Encoder will open, encode the file, and upload it automatically. You can add people to your account as either a team member or a collaborator. Each of these roles are considered a user. A team member can see all projects on a single account while a collaborator only has access to the project they've been invited to. In this case, I'll add a remote motion designer so they can help me with some animations on this project. I can add them in as a collaborator by clicking on this plus icon on the top right hand side, drop in their email and send off the invite. Once the motion designer gets the invite, they'll be prompted to create a free Frame.io account to access the project. If I don't wish to have certain users added to my account, or if I have a client that just needs to leave notes on revisions, I can hit share, then shares review to send a review link. A review link is a way for me to get feedback from external users so they can be a part of the review process, but not directly invited into the account. This is great for sharing with clients, directors, and major stakeholders. Now that my sequence is uploaded, I'm gonna open my uploaded sequence directly within the panel. I can already see the notes being added in real time by the remote designer I just invited. By default, my playhead is automatically synced to my recently uploaded sequence, and when I click on those different comments, my timeline jumps to the same spot as it appears in Frame.io. If I have other assets linked to a sequence, I can actually click on that asset to open that sequence in Premiere locally. After clicking on the comment bubble, I can reply to those comments when reviewing them in a list. If I plan on working offline or need to refer to these notes later, I can import those comments in as markers by clicking on Import Comments button here at the top. As each take is completed on set, the files are sent to Frame.io where they're organized by date. Camera to Cloud dailies have the same file name and timecode as the original camera files, so they can be easily switched out with your Hero Media at any time. You can import the files on Frame.io by clicking on the asset you wish to download and then choose Download, Import File. You can also select multiple clips, right click, and choose Import Files. Once the media is in your bin, you can add it to your timeline like any other clip. If you wish to download the file, it will live somewhere you specify on your computer. When I've made my revisions to my sequence, I can go through the process again until the project is complete. I've made some changes to my sequence based on the comments made on my first cut, and I would like my team and client to address some concerns with a few specific shots. I'll add markers to my sequence and enter my concern in the comments box. The text in the comment box will appear as comments in Frame.io. Now I'm ready to upload the sequence to Frame.io. To make things easier for each revision, I can choose to auto-version these edits into a single stack in Frame.io. Version stacking is a great tool in Frame.io that keeps your project organized to not fill it up with revisions and drafts that are uploaded. After my sequence is uploaded, everyone on the account will get a notification that there's a new asset ready to view. Here's what that notification looks like for your team. Your Frame.io Creative Cloud account also includes Camera to Cloud. This enables the upload of proxies directly from set into Frame.io in between camera takes. The footage is accessible within Premiere just a few moments after cutting the camera. Imagine being able to edit dailies from a shoot that is still happening in real time. Now you can with Frame.io Camera to Cloud. This feature does require additional hardware across a variety of compatible devices, so please visit Frame.io forward slash C2C to learn more about this feature. For you or anyone that you're working with, these same features and more are available on our web app. You can sign in from anywhere and have the same access you did within the Premiere Pro panel. This is just an example of how you can collaborate using Frame.io, but there's a lot more. Be sure to explore all that Frame.io has to offer and refer to our other resources located on the Frame.io support page. 
Don't forget to check out our After Effects panel tutorial video as well. Happy editing.